Hi everyone, so I literally just got home from work and I really wanted to film a video for you guys. So what is better to do than um, a tag video? This tag that I'm going to be doing is the products I hit pan on. And I'd say I have a pretty good variety of drugstore, MAC products, Sephora products, and whatnot. So if you want to see what items I've pretty much used up so far, then just keep watching. So this is the tag of the products I hit pan on. If you aren't familiar with that term, you'll hear it here a lot on YouTube sometimes, like Project Tim Pan or people mentioning products that they've hit pan on. And so what that means is basically um, when you hit pan, it's when you can see the bottom of the pan that your product is in. So for example, this bronzer I've hit pan on. So you can see that the product is being used up quite frequently. So that's what type of products I'm gonna be showing you in this video. It's gonna be items that I use a lot or that I'm almost done using. So I'm gonna start with the eye products first. I have quite a bit of here. So the first item I have here is my MAC eyeshadow and this is in nylon and it's a frost finish. And I've had this for so long. I've talked about it in Oh my gosh, like probably a year's worth of videos. I've had this for quite, quite some time. So as you can see, the pan's pretty big on it. I love this eyeshadow so much. It's a really frosty, almost kind of yellow hue to it, but it's a really, really nice highlight shade, and oh my gosh, it's just gorgeous. Wonderful highlight, wonderful on the lids, great for the inner tear duct. It's just absolutely gorgeous and I love that so that is one product I have another one I have here is a NYX eyeshadow and this is in the color taupe this is a perfect crease shade um, so as you can see the pan on that one is pretty large as well these are big eyeshadows too um, and this is another product I've had for quite some time as well uh, so this is a matte shade and like I said it's great for the crease I actually like to wear these two together if I'm going for like a neutral kind of um, quick and easy look. So this goes in the crease and that would go on the lid. It's really nice. Um, another product I have here, actually I am not only just hit pan on this, I've hit pan on it a long time ago, I actually just finished it. But I wanted to show you guys because I'm so sad. This is my Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. My absolute favorite primer ever for your eyeshadows. Um, I have to buy another one. I had this for so long and look how huge this jar is. It's huge. So there is no more product left in that puppy. Um, my all time favorite. I love, love, love that eyeshadow primer but it's all gone now. Um, the next product I have here is my Maybelline Dream Mousse Concealer. This is another product that brings a tear to my eye because um, as you can see by this 50% off clearance tag that I never took off this product, um, they discontinued this. I have no idea why they stopped making this and I am so sad that it took me until they were discontinuing it to try it out. Um, hence the 50% off sticker. Um, but I was really apprehensive about this product because I thought for some reason because it's that mousse consistency, it would really settle into your fine lines and it doesn't do that at all. It is my all-time favorite concealer I'd ever tried, so I'm really sad about that. It's kind of similar idea as the paint pot. It's in the pot form. Um, but as you can see, it is quickly going away and I'm very sad about that. Um, next product I have, this is something that I've had for a really long time in my collection. I don't really use it that often and the only time you'll see me using it in videos, which is quite frequently now, um, is for a, a highlight shade and it's a matte creamy white shade. This is the one I always show you guys. Actually there's other colors that I've hit pan on, but like I said, I've had this for so long. Um, so the color that I'm mainly talking about, even though these two are as well, um, that I use quite often now is this cream white shade and it's a matte one. And this is the L'Oreal Settled Berries Quad. I don't even know if they make this anymore, but um, it's a perfect matte shade for when you have those really shimmery looks. Sorry my lighting is going in and out. 
I just got off work, like I said, so that's why I rushed in here and I've got all my lights on blasting. Um, and the last eye product I have is my Naked Palette by Urban Decay. Um, I have quite a few shades in here. Actually, they're more, it's funny, it's kind of more on the lighter side um, that I am hitting pan on. So I will show you those. Um, Virgin, as you can see, let me tilt it down. Oh, I can't really tell that well. It is like really a good portion of it is gone. Um, so you can see little like parts of the pan that's showing, but also like thin. I, it's funny too because I don't really use this color too often, but I mainly focus the brush in that one area, so that's probably why. Um, Sin is kind of another highlight shade, sort of. Good lid. This is another matte crease shade, and this is in the color Naked. It's matte, so it's kind of similar to taupe as well. So again, that is a great lid color and highlight, and this is a good crease color. So again, when I'm going neutral or quickie look, those two I usually always pair together. And moving on to face products. Um, the first product I have here is by Sephora, and it's their brand of, it's a blusher and bronzer, and it's called Blush Me Twice. It's in brown and apricot. Those are the colors. So it's a bronzer. I got this a while ago too. Um, the bronzer is matte. It's just a basic brown matte shade um, for bronzing or contouring. So that one's got a good sized pan coming through. Um, this one I've hit pan on so much that there's just a little tiny bit of crumbs left, which is the case with the next products as well. Um, which is going to be hard for me to show you guys. But this is my Revlon Color Stay um, Pressed Powder foundation. So you can see the whole entire pan um, with just a few little speckles of foundation. And yes, believe it or not, I am scraping those products down because I am so desperately in need of more foundation powder badly. So um, just so you know, this is in the medium shade. So I need to go get another one of those. And the next two products I have are a blush, and you've seen one of these most recently in my top 10 favorite blushes. And the other blush is in the same boat, so I'm not even going to open these because last time if you watched that video, um, it just totally exploded in my hand. So what happens is because um, these blushes are so soft, when you hit pan, you have to be very careful because they crack really easily. Um, so that is the Precious Pink Blush. This is the Expert Wear Blush by Maybelline. Um, this is the one that cracked on me. So as you can see, there's just one little chunk left. And then this one is in Dusty Rose, which is kind of, again, more of like a satin finish, just like the Precious Pink, but it's a nude color. So it's just going to kind of enhance your skin tone a little bit, maybe for those nights you have a really intense smoky eye or something. Um, this is my um, Gemma Kid Eye Duo thing. It's the highlighter and then the concealer. And the concealer is pretty much almost all gone. This is all the way up. So I really like this. It's a very, very creamy concealer and it works very well. Um, and this is in Fair to Mid. And you can get these Gemma Kid products at Target. Um, and then I have my NYC. Sunny Bronzer, I showed this again in my um, most recent video, my favorites at the moment. And as you can see, I hit pan. I've used quite a bit and made a huge dent in it, but there's just a little bit of pan peeking through there. And I believe the last product I have here is a lipstick. And I know you can't really hit pan on lipstick, but I figured I'd show you this because this is worth mentioning. This is the Lipstick in Hue, and it's a glaze. Oops, upside down. Uh, oh, maybe not. <laughs> okay, but anyways, this is a wonderful lip product. If you are looking for a perfect nudie pink shade that's very wearable, and uh, right there, it's kind of glossy. I love glaze finishes. Um, this is a great, 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 great lip color. I love it to death, and so I'm trying to savor it um, to the last few drops or uses it has out of it. So that's about it, and those are my products I quickly grabbed out of my um, collection. These are products that are wonderful. I, almost all of these are like 
repurchases that I would definitely make. So if you have any questions about any of these products I showed you or anything, don't be afraid to leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.